Hey everyone, so today we're going to look at uh, how to do blind corners in our system. Uh, it's something that is a little bit of a workaround, but we've got two different options here that you can see. The first here that we'll look at is building all the way into the corner and then building another unit off. And the next option here is you see we have a uh, unit of open space here. So if we go back and we look at these two different options, let's start on wall one. So this is the, if we look at the overhead, we're building completely into this corner and then we're putting in empty space on wall two. That is the depth of this unit. So we're going to put in 14 inches of empty space and then build from there. So this first unit on the wall, you see we're building with uh, double doors and we're hoping that this second handle gets covered a bit. If we come over to wall two, you'll see that we're doing this 14 wide empty space and then we're building our second unit there. We're doing something similar on the other side where we have another uh, unit of empty space here, our standard 30 wide door. We've just flipped the handle, but what we're doing on wall three is making this two separate units. If you wanted to put in an empty base, which is if we go to swap unit, you go to base and you have an open base here, you can use that. You can remove the back vertical panel and then that should line up for doing this. And those are the two options, depending on what style you want to do. Those are probably the best options for doing blind corners in our system. All right. Thanks so much.